Hey guys, it's Stevie T, and today we're gonna get, I'm gonna get really real. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can never take myself seriously. As some of you may know, over the past few months, I've kind of built a relationship with Dragon Force, a little known band. I was even their triangle player. It was on Wikipedia, so it's real. So just a little backstory, what happened was Herman Lee was doing a live stream on Twitch and someone asked, when is Stevie T joining Dragon Force? And Herman Lee jokingly said, okay, Stevie T, Stevie T can join Dragon Force if he plays Triangle. Triangle player, triangle player, triangle player, triangle player. And of course I took that as an opportunity to do a video. Well, it turns out Dragon Force loved the video and they love my content and they liked my guitar playing, so they asked me if I would join them in their US tour as their bass player because Fred was leaving the band. So I 100% agreed to it. I was actually pretty excited to do it at first. Now, before I open up to you guys about all the deep stuff, I'm gonna lighten up the mood with a game that has become really near and dear to me over the past few months. Why, it is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new collection RPG game, and this game will blow your bo socks off. More than 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in the past six months alone. Oh, and the best part is, it's free to play. And check out the amazing graphics and details on the champions. And in Raid, you have the ability to personally customize and choose the artifacts and design a unique mastery for each of your characters. It's pretty sick. And apparently a lot of other people think so too. More than 300,000 almost perfect reviews on the Play Store. Yeah. Now the game is growing super fast and the highly anticipated new Faction Wars feature is now live. Now go to my description and click on my special links. And if you're a new player, you get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, the Executioner. <laughs> and all your treasures will be waiting for you right here in the game. Boop. And the rewards are only available for the next 30 days, so clicky clicky now. All right, well, I guess it's time to get down to the serious stuff then, and so here's the deal. I wish I could sit here and tell you that I canceled the tour because I'm too busy with YouTube, which is true, but it's not the whole truth. I even learned half the songs on bass, and even one bass line was like, play that, Davey. But then as we got closer and closer to the actual tour date, all I can say is I started having what I can only describe as almost mental breakdowns where it, it would get to the point where all I could think about was this tour and it was consuming my mind and my anxieties were just like going crazy. I couldn't even work on my videos anymore because I was just thinking about the tour constantly. And I knew that I was gonna have some kind of mental breakdown sometime before or during the tour, and I didn't want that to happen, so I had to call off the tour. It's not one of my proudest moments, allowing myself to succumb to my anxieties again. And of course I felt like a huge asshole to Dragon Force after completely agreeing to do this. Like, oh yeah, Dragon Force, I would love to tour with you. And then weeks later being like, oh sorry, oh by the way guys, I, I have crippling anxiety so I'm not going to be able to do it. This was 100% my decision. Dragon Force wanted me to be there so bad. And I apologize so much for anyone who bought a ticket to come out to see Dragon Force with me. I can't say sorry enough. But that's why I want to be honest with you guys because I know a lot of a lot of you guys have dealt with anxiety and depression as well. And a lot of you even say that my videos help help you overcome that, which just blows my mind. But just know that you watching me is helping me cope with my anxiety as well. So, we're one in the same, man. We're in the same boat and if I can help one person by admitting that, then that means everything to me. Because I think people watch my videos and see this guy who's just full of confidence and just ready to take on the world. Honestly, when I'm in front of a camera is the only time when I feel like that. So that's why playing in a live show in front of all these people 
being in a tour bus after I've never toured. I've never even toured before. My first tour ever is with a famous band on a headlining tour. That freaked me the hell out. As for Dragon Force, what did they do after I bailed on them? They gave me a cameo in their new music video. Oh great, way to make me feel like even more of a scrote sandwich. I bail on you guys and you still leave me in your music video. And that's something that I can live with forever knowing, hey guys, uh, I was in a Dragon Force music video, you know, whatever. In fact, I was the only person that survived in that music video. And I'll admit, I watched Dragon Force performing live on TwitchCon, wondering to myself what could have been, because that could have been me on stage with them. Like, who knows what opportunity could have arose by playing with Dragon Force. I mean, at the end of the day, I'd rather be a YouTuber anyways, but still, this would have been quite the thing to put on a resume, like, playing with Dragon Force. I half expected Dragon Force to hate me after bailing the, on them like that. They rightfully could have been, but instead they were like, hey Stevie, we understand, we've dealt with our own anxieties before as well. In fact, Herman Lee even talked to me on the phone for over an hour talking about his anxieties in the past as well. Anyone who looks up to Herman Lee as a guitar god and just hopes that he's the amazing person that, that he appears to be, I'm here to let you guys know that he is. He's the most genuine dude you will ever know. I still picked up my deluxe package of their new album, so I mean, I'm still supporting the band, of course, and we're all on great terms, but Dragon Force, you gotta come to the East Coast, man. We want you here, man. So that's why I'm not sugarcoating this whole Dragon Force thing. This is what happened. Hopefully someday I can overcome this. Well, I ain't I a ray of sunshine today. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed to me, know that I would appreciate it so much if you did. And if you ever need me, I'm just a click away. I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be a little more not depressing. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the next video. Mwah.